hey my friends and welcome to the channel so if you've ever been in a situation where you worked on a project on your desktop and when you pushed it to github you forgot to um add your env file to you know your git ignore so your env file was all over the place because you had made several commits on your project and even created maybe multiple branches that you pushed so that could be a problem because i mean the information on your .env file is sensitive so let me replicate the same uh, problem here so for example i am going to initialize this project this is vs code and just a simple back end of an app that i you know built so i'll initialize this project using visual studio code all right so by doing that you see i already have this notification here that says that there are 493 changes that I need to commit so well I don't want to do that right away what I want to do is I want to add a dot git ignore file and that should be small letter so dot git ignore and then inside of this dot git ignore there is one folder I am sure I don't want to upload to github and that is node models and to get into that it's forward slash node underscore models okay if you save that and you go back to this git area here you see that it has reduced from 400 plus to just six files so currently it's monitoring six files and one of those files is the .env file so let's say i forget to add that here and i make a commit so the first commit i'll call that initial commit and then i'll just you know commit that or add that to the commit aha so you see I have added that you know and everything is fine except that I now go ahead to create a branch so I can come to this master branch and I'll create a, a what's it called create new branch from and then the name of the branch I'll just call this branch one so branch underscore one I'll hit enter and then I would select where I want to create the branch from and that's in this case is the master branch so what that will do is that it will so we now have two branches all right so we have the master branch the branch one now let me even take it a step further i'll create another branch so i'll say create new branch from and i'll call this branch two hit enter and i also want to create it from the master branch all right so technically we have the master branch and two extra branches and in those branches the .env file have been saved because i just practically replicated the master branch anyway let's go back to the master branch voila so i'm back in the master branch and this is the project at this point i can go ahead and push this project to github so what am i going to do to achieve that well i'll just create a github repository i already have my github open here so i'll just create a new repository i will call that and then i'll just call the repository um let's see uh i don't even know what to call it anyway i'll just call it um youtube tutorial so let's just say yt instead of the full youtube yt uh hyphen tutorial yeah so that's fine now i'll go ahead and create that repository Now, because I've already created the local, you know, setup, I'll just grab this um, piece of code here because I already have an existing local repository. So I'll just copy this guy here and then I'll just go to my local setup. I'll open my terminal and inside the terminal, I'll just right click to paste the three lines of code at once. So I'll right click. I'll right click. Aha so okay so you see the three lines of code have been pasted oh i did that twice okay i need to cancel out of this control c and then i'll just right click again aha then i'll just hit there's a problem here it says remote origin already exists okay let me just be sure that i'm on the right track I'll create a new um, terminal here 
and then i'll just check if there's anything in the remote so i'll say git remote dash v just to check if there's anything okay so it has already all those commands have already run and we already have this file this um, remote repository connected so let me come here and let's be sure so i'll expand this guy and refresh this page okay so technically i've not pushed anything here yet and i don't know why it was telling me remote origin already exists anyway let's just push what we have to so i'll just come back here to my terminal and this tutorial is really getting anyway let me just do that here so i'll just right click and then i'll push everything we have here to the terminal to the master branch oh technically what i wanted to do let me cancel out of this process technically what i really want to do is i want to push all the branches to the master branch so here instead of just pushing i'll say git push and i'll say dash dash all so we're going to add the all flag and then we'll add origin so that's upstream and then i'll hit enter that will just push all the branches we have which is the master branch branch one and branch two to our remote repository so if you come here now and then you refresh this page you should see that we now have the repository but we also have two extra branches if we just use this push origin master it would have just pushed only the master branch so you see we have this here great so now i realize that oh i pushed up my dot env file how am i going to remove it well technically one thing you would need to do is to first come to git ignore and add the dot env file so if i come here to git ignore and then i come to the next line and say dot env and then save so you see here it will tell us that we need one change that we need to commit so here i'll say added dot env file to git ignore and then i'll just hit control and enter to save that to commit that and then technically we can just push push that to you know the cloud so git push origin or or git push origin master because it's only the master branch that i made some changes to now it will push them to it will push the changes to our git but now when we come back to our repository here and we refresh the page right you'll notice that we still have our dot env file in the master branch so you see when the master branch and the dot env file is here so how do you go about solving this problem well i'll show you a very uh, simple simple straightforward way you can do that since we've added this guy here dot env file here we need to do what is known as clearing the cache so there's a kind of caching system that happens when you commit when you make a commit on git and then you've committed the file so how am i going to clear that cache well i'm going to say git and rm which stands for remove and then i'll say dash dash cached so i want to remove all the cached file and i know this is not clear so let me just expand my terminal so that you can see it very clearly Control c okay so it's git and then remove dash dash cached so remove all the cached files and then you then need to specify the path to that file now remember that file is in the home directory so if you come here it's in the root directory rather so dot env so technically i can just come here and say dot env if the file was inside a folder i would need to specify the path to that folder if i go ahead and hit enter right oh okay so let me see okay I, I thought i was going to get some kind of loading and stuff but that was really 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 fast so by doing this you'll be able to remove the dot eme file from the cache and immediately you do that you'll notice that there are some changes in the git um, tracker here so if you come here you see here that you see we've added dot env file to the dot git ignore so let's just um, commit that again i'll just say commit message just because i don't want to type out something long so i'll just you know say that and then i'll just push it up to github so let's just do that git push and hit enter
So I've successfully pushed that to GitHub. Now let's come here and refresh. So I'll come here and then let's refresh this master branch and let's see what happens to the .env watch. Aha, so you see here now we do not, we no longer have the .env in this file. So that's how you can purge, you know, a branch when you have a file that you just want to purge out. Now, if I go back to the branch one, you see that, oh, there's a problem. We still have the .env in branch one. If you go to branch two, you'll notice that we still have the .env in branch two. So apparently this is a bigger problem that you need to be able to solve. So let me show you how you can solve that, right? So there is a much larger command that we need to be able to purge that particular file or delete that particular file across all branches in our project so i'll come here this is a code snippet i just posted here and of course i found it online i did not manufacture it from my brain so but technically the only thing you need to change here is the name of the file you want to remove or delete so that's why i said file name here so just go ahead and copy this snippet which i'll leave a link in the description too and then let's go back to our code editor so I'll open this guy here and from the master branch, let me, so that we have a lot of space here. So from the master branch, I'm just going to paste in that. So basically what this will do is that it will purge um, our entire project across all branches and it's going to remove the file that we specify. So if you can, you see we have this flag all, so it's going to look inside all of our branches. So I'm going to basically going to come here and I'm going to change the name here. So, okay. I think I just need to move the cursor. Yeah. So I'll just move the cursor up to this point and then I'll just delete this file name. And then here you're just going to specify the path to the file. So because we're in the root directory and .env is also in the root directory, I'll just say .env and that's going to be the file that we are looking for to purge across all of our branches. So I'll come here and then i'll just hit enter and now this is going to take a while right it's going to take a bit longer to purge so it's even warning me that look this is going to alter your commits but because i that's what i want to do i'll just let it run so just give it a few seconds or a, yeah, a few seconds and it should run All right, so you see it's technically rewriting all of our commits so you see the first rewrite the second rewrite all right so it's done with that um rewrite so what i want to do now is i just want to push something to the master i'm sorry the remote which is github so i'll just come here and let's just make a change um let's see or I think I technically you can just push it now. So I'll just come here and let me just add a command git push all origin. Yeah, I can do that. So I'll hit enter. And let's wait for it to just push back to the remote. Oh, okay. So it says fail to push some ref, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to force push the changes to here and like I don't recommend this except you, you're you very sure of what you're doing, okay? Now, because the error is giving me here, it's telling me that look, there are some changes that exist in the remote origin which is on GitHub that you don't have on your local branches and I'm aware of that. So what I'm going to do, I'll just add the dash dash force here, the force flag, okay? and then i'll hit enter so it will force my git changes from this local repository to the remote repository thereby removing this .env file from the remote repository so if you come here now and you come back to the remote repository let's expand this guy and okay so this is branch two anyway let me just refresh branch two first i'll refresh branch two and watch what happens so voila so you see we do not we no longer have the .env file in branch 2 if you come to the branch 1 you see that we also no longer have the .env file so we've successfully been able to 
delete that particular file across our commits without actually deleting the commits okay so that's about it for this tutorial for me when i you know experienced this i had to do some a lot of googling before i was able to get the right information to do this stuff so that's why i said let me do a video on it and help other people thank you so much if you're not subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe i'll see you in another video